Hey, it's Cody, and I like cheap parts. And recently, I built my first quadcopter. I say recently, it's been several months now. Um, and so, being the cheap part connoisseur I am, I ended up uh, on Amazon, which isn't always the best. But sometimes it is. Who knows? Anyway, I, I ended up on these LHI branded motors. Um, they are 2205, 2300 kV motors. And a set of four of these bad boys is $35, right? So like just shy of nine bucks a piece. These are very, very cheap and honestly quite good for the money, in my opinion. Um, busted, busted, you know, a couple of these along the way. Um, but as everyone does, eventually you're going to want more performance. And so I ended up back on the market for another set of motors and I ended up landing at these uh, 3B Hobby motors. I got these from GetFPV. Um, 3B Hobby 2306 stator size 2500 kV motors and um, and these are $13 a piece. I think they're advertised at $12.99 and they come in a bag like this but we're not going to talk about the specs because you know there's a lot of people on YouTube and whatnot talking about the specs on these things, flying these motors and whatnot, and you can see all of that. But one thing I wanted to capture with this video is like, coming from a set of motors like these, what will a set of motors like these gain you, right? So what I did was I started off well with, with this frame. It's wintertime in Indiana, so I'm making a lot of changes. And also I apologize for the audio quality on this video. Everything's shot with a Hero 5 session and no external help, so I'm, I'm sorry about the, the audio quality. But I started off with these motors on the quadcopter, and I went to a local spot. And I did like two vertical launches and then zipped across the field a couple times, some wide open throttle type of maneuvers. I came back. I put these motors on the quadcopter, which is why they're still attached to my ESCs. Um, put these on the quadcopter. I went back to the same spot and did the exact same maneuver. Two vertical launches, zipped across the field a couple times, nothing fancy, very to the point. And what I want to be able to do with that footage is show a person what the difference is, performance is um, between two sets of very cheap motors. So nine bucks a piece, 13 bucks a piece, what are you gonna gain? And I did that using the same quadcopter, like every single part on the quadcopter was the same. Let's get into it. What I have, uh, I'll discuss the old setup first. What I have is a, uh, it's just an Amazon LHI 220 quadcopter kit. Um, it's basically the same thing as a Lumine or QAVR. I think the Ishin Wizard is also very similar. I am going to throw a brand new set of Cyclone T5045s on before I fly it, and we'll get the baseline there. All right, I have the Dow props installed. I have my tattoo it's the 1550 four cell uh, 1550 milliamp hour four cell um got the hero five oh wow it's on there sideways i gotta fix that okay let's weigh this thing i got my scales out we'll get the all up weight and then i'll have to fix that dang gopro so we're on grams and it looks like the all up weight is going to be 682 grams so let me fix this thing and uh, we'll go fly. All right, I've made it to the location at which we are going to test this. Uh, this it's the old setup. The LHI branded motors are on. Um, all else is as discussed. I am literally in the middle of nowhere. This looks like a county road, but it's actually just a, we've got a dead end this way, dead end this way, and this is the entrance for this training center. Um, giant field, giant woods. I wanted to come here because I knew there were some tall trees and stuff and we could do like uh, some vertical like launches just straight up and we could use that this as a like a reference um, so we can get an idea of what the original setup can do and then when we come back we can also uh, do this again with the new setup the other motors and we might blast across the field a little bit and uh, you know We'll go from there. All right, I think I'll cut over to footage on that.
So I'm back here at the training center where we were earlier and uh, I just got the motors changed. So we're gonna be using the 3B Hobby 2306 2500 KV motors. Um, I tried to capture in the, uh, the time lapse that the drone does weigh a little bit more now. It weighs 686 or 87. It was kind of flaky going in between the two numbers. So 687, let's call it grams. Uh, so about five grams heavier with these motors on it. Um, all else is the same, got the same dial props on it. Um, I have the exact same battery on this quadcopter that we used with the previous test on the previous motors. I was able to, I had enough time to recharge it in between, uh, you know, swapping the motors. So I've got the exact same battery, the same straps, the same props, the same GoPro, the same mount, zip ties, everything is the same. Uh, the only thing different is the 3B Hobby 2306 2500 KV motors. I do want to put the quadcopter back into the same place and I'm going to do the same maneuver. So I'm gonna to try to do this with about 16.2 or so volts. As long as I'm above 16, I think, or at 16, I think we've, uh, we've done this justice. Let me turn this GoPro on and I will turn this one off. Okay, so I'm back at my apartment and I'm going through some of the footage that I collected out there at the training center and there's a couple things that I noticed right off the bat. I was disappointed in some of the footage with the 2306 motors because I wasn't holding the throttle open for as long a period of time as I was with the 2205 motors. And at first I was disappointed with that, but then again, this being a non-technical kind of video uh, or test, I suppose it's kind of inherent and if a person keeps that in mind, I think they can still derive the difference in performance between the two motors pretty easily. I'm going to keep putting this together, and I hope it's helped somebody. Um, I appreciate you watching. Until next time, see you later.